Hey everybody, I'm Jess Keating and today I want to talk to you about this book specifically. I want to share three things that you, everybody, should know about this lady right here, Ms. Marie Tharp. Are you ready? Okay. The first thing that you need to know about Marie is that she was an explorer. Here she is here. And to be an explorer, you need a very curious mind, you need an open heart, and you need a desire to learn absolutely everything about the things that you love. And Marie had that quality in spades. She loved to explore the forest with her father. She loved to explore little tiny details of the natural world with her magnifying glass and her microscope with her father's help. And she even loved to explore the world using equations and math and science and chemistry. Now I'm going to pause here because I know sometimes when kids or grown-ups, I should say grown-ups too, see equations like this, they can get a little scared and intimidated, right? Because it's another language. It's a whole other language, but that is the thing. In the same way that you can learn how to read words on a page, like the words in this book, you can also learn the language of other languages, which is math and sciences and chemistry, all sorts of really cool things. And Marie was such a great explorer that she knew if I want to learn as much as I can about the world, I really want to learn all these other languages too. Okay, so don't be intimidated. If you ever see equations like this or you want to learn something that involves these types of equations, if she can do it, so can you. Okay, so that is the first thing to know is that she was an absolutely incredible explorer. And I know many people out there, especially the younger folks that are going to be reading this book a lot, want to become explorers too. And like I said, don't be afraid of anything. If you love it, dive into it and explore it. Okay. So the second thing now, not only was she an explorer, but she was also a complete trailblazer. Marie Tharp is one of the coolest people because she did something that nobody on the planet had done before, but we also need to look into why she had to do this. So, Marie Tharp was an oceanographic cartographer, okay? So what does that mean? It means that she mapped the ocean floor. Now, in order to do that, you have to send sound waves, here's a picture for you, from a boat all the way down to the ocean floor and then measure how long it takes for those sound waves to get back. And this is a little bit like echolocation, which you might have heard of before, which is what dolphins and bats and some whales use to figure out where things are around them. So this is what was happening on this boat. But get this, in the 1950s, when Marie was doing this work, she was not allowed to go on the ship. Now, was it because she wasn't smart enough? No, of course not. We've already seen that this woman is brilliant. Was it because she didn't want to? Of course not. She would have loved to go on the boat. It was because she was a woman. And women back then were seen as bad luck on ships. So here she is learning that she does not get to go on a ship because she's a woman. So what do we call this? Well, the first thing we call it is garbage, right? Because as a woman, you should be allowed to do absolutely anything you want to do, specifically if it's your job and you just want to make a living and change the world. But the second thing this is, is sexist, right? Anytime a woman is told she can't do something because of who she is like that, it's sexist. And so many women, even today, have experiences like this. It might not be the same type of thing that Marie was going through being told you're not allowed to go on a boat, but it happens all the time. So we need to be really careful, first of all, to help boost women up all over the world, no matter where they're from or what they want to do. But we also need to share stories of people like Marie who were brave enough to stand up and do their work anyway. Okay, so that is the second thing to know about her is she was a total trailblazer. Now the third thing, which I think is kind of the best reveal of all because it's a physical reveal in the book too, she was actually right. Now what do I mean by that? When she was studying all of these data points, and here's, here's a very big reveal, you get to have this moment with me, it's beautiful. When she was studying all of these data points, she noticed this ocean ridge, this rift valley in the bottom of the ocean floor. Okay, it looked like a big scar all along the ocean floor with a mountain range on each side of it. But at the time, that looked like something that could not be possible. 
Scientists did not believe that she could be mapping an actual big mountain range in the ocean floor. In fact, some people actually went down to try to prove her wrong. And one of those people was Jacques Cousteau. So what he actually did was he sent his boat, dropped a camera to the ocean floor, and said to himself and his team, I want to prove that this person's not right. I want to prove that there is no mid-ocean ridge at all. There's no rift valley in the ocean floor. She must be out of her mind. But instead, he proved her right. He threw his lights on and the world was able to see this beautiful, beautiful ocean floor. And here is the reveal. I have Marie mapped point after point after point. Inside her small office, Marie's map grew bigger and bigger and bigger. And we actually have a gatefold in this beautiful book. That is what happens when you have an extra page like this. And I absolutely love it. And at the bottom here, I'll just read it for you right now. And bigger. Soon, Marie wasn't in her office anymore. She was an explorer on the ocean floor, surrounded by valleys and peaks, mountains and canyons, dips and hills. So even though she was told that her original map that showed the mid-ocean ridge was wrong, and she was actually made to do it a second time, she did not doubt herself. Even though she had other very famous popular scientists at the time telling her, you're absolutely wrong, she knew she was right. And guess what? She was. And now you can see on the end pages here, this is what the mid-ocean ridges look like all over the world. And we know this because of this lady here, Marie Tharp. So to summarize the three things to know about Marie Tharp, number one, she was an incredible, incredible explorer. And if there's one trait that I think you should try to embody as a young person in your life who wants to learn more about the world, it is that curious mind that Marie Tharp had. The second thing is, of course, she was a trailblazer. And sometimes to be a trailblazer, you need to do things that are very scary and you might even be the first person on the planet to do them, but that's okay. And the third thing to remember, when you are brave and strong and stand up for what you know is right and challenge yourself, you're often gonna be right, even if the world is not quite ready for you to be there. And maybe one day, somebody like me, another author, will be writing a picture book about you to try to inspire a whole bunch of other people, okay? So, those are three things that I want you guys to know about Marie Tharp. But of course, leave me a note in the comments down below, and I would like you to do two things for me. First, I want you to tell me, what do you wanna be when you grow up? And I sometimes don't like that term grow up because let's be real, we all need to stay kind of kids at heart, right? But when you are older, what kind of career would you like to have? Would you like to explore the ocean like Marie Tharp? Would you like to do something totally different? And if you're a grown up watching this with your kids, I also wanna know what did you wanna be when you grow up? And did you become that in real life, okay? And the second thing I want you to do is pre-order this book so that you can share with as many people as you want to. You can see Katie Hickey's absolutely amazing art and you can learn more about this woman right here. Here she is in my book and here she is in real life, right up there. Beautiful and brilliant. So thank you very, very much for watching. Pre-order the book, it's out on June 30th by Tundra Books and myself and the amazing Miss Katie Hickey. And let me know wherever you're watching this down below, leave a comment or send me a message about what you want to do when you're older. Have a wonderful day. Bye.